Hey YouTube, it's Annabelle. So I wanted to do a video on Christmas. There are 12 days till Christmas and it is just, it's so exciting. Um, just there being 12 days of Christmas, 12 days until Christmas makes me think of the song, um, like the 12 days of Christmas. And um, the reason why is one of the things that um, my parents did for um, me and my brother is they they did a like a 12 days of Christmas thing where we got a little present on um, each day 12 days before Christmas. So they were just um, little little packages of something um, and it just it started us off um, 12 days before in a, like a Christmas mood, Christmas spirit. And I just wanted to talk about just everything Christmas um, and how we celebrate Christmas, Christmas traditions, and um, things that we are doing this year. Now, the weekend after Thanksgiving is when I put up all of my Christmas stuff. And my Christmas stuff, since there's so much of it, um, used to stay up until like the end of January just because it was such a task to take all the Christmas stuff down. Well now since my daughter was born um, and she was born um, two years ago um, this coming January. So she will be turning two so this is actually her second Christmas and so that is very exciting and also why um, we started some of the things that I'm going to talk about here in a little bit. Um, but anyways, so before, um, my Christmas stuff used to stay up for quite a long time um, just because it was just, again, such a task to take all of it down. And um, I have, um, I keep all of my like seasonal decorations in um, large tote bins. And um, just to give you an example of how much Christmas stuff I have, um, I have one tote for um, Thanksgiving, one tote for um, all of my Halloween decorations, because there's a lot of those as well. Um, and I have one tote for all of my um, like New York New Year's through Fourth of July decor. Um, and my Christmas stuff, I've got five, <laughs> five. Um, I like to put up different things every year, and I just I like um, to keep Thanksgiving. Um, special by not putting up any of my Christmas stuff, no lights, no decorations, not even taking my bins out of my storage room until after Thanksgiving. So, but I don't wait very long after Thanksgiving. Um, so the weekend after Thanksgiving, I put up um, all of my Christmas stuff and I usually do it in that weekend. Um, this year, um, we were gone over Thanksgiving and we actually had um, the Sunday after all day and I got everything put up in one day. I was so proud of myself this year. Um, but just an example of how we kind of like set the mood for Christmas is I enjoy um, Christmas and holiday um, type music and songs. Um, and I like everything. I like Santa songs. I like religious songs. I like instrumental only. Um, I like all of that. Um, I just think um, I grew up with the music that surrounds Christmas. And it just, it holds just a special place in my heart and in the hearts of my family and friends. And I just love it. I am not one of those people who hates Christmas music. I absolutely love it. And um, there are some strange versions of um, like Christmas music and everyone's kind of trying to remake the songs and everything but I personally like the traditional songs and so there is Christmas music playing in my house um, especially since I am now a work-at-home mom um, for over a year now um, 
but there has been Christmas music been playing since December 1st in my house. Um, and it usually plays all day. Um, and my husband does not particularly care for the Christmas music. So me and my daughter listen to it um, all day long um, until he gets home. And then um, it's more supper and nighttime routine and all that kind of stuff that takes place. Um, but we put up a Christmas tree and we have stockings. Um, we did not put out like cookies and milk for Santa last year because my daughter was just a little too young. Um, but we will definitely be doing that this year. Um, this year, since my daughter is going to be um, two, and that so this has kind of changed from last year. We have been doing a lot of um, a lot more reading of books that have to do with Christmas, um, the Christmas story, um, a Christmas carol, um, the first Christmas, and just all those kind of books talking about Santa and snowmen, even though it snowed twice, but it only, it hasn't stuck. Um, so we haven't really talked a whole lot about snow or anything just because um, I don't have a lot of pictures or an outside example of snow. Um, but we do have quite a few like snowmen, well, like this is one thing, um, that snowmen and reindeer and Christmas trees and stockings and baby Jesus and just all those things that surround Christmas. Um, this year she's definitely learned a whole lot more about holidays, um, obviously because she's getting older. And next year um, she'll even know more about it because um, she'll almost be three next year. Um, however, so we're talking about all of the things that we put up. She helped me decorate and she's just loving all of the, the little things and the special little shiny things. And it's just, it's been just a great time of year. Um, so we decorate our house um, and we decorate a tree. Again, we have stockings. Um, we do stockings um, the night before Christmas and then we do Christmas gifts on Christmas morning um, and Christmas morning we do um, hot chocolate and cinnamon rolls and then we usually do popcorn in a movie sometime that day. Um, me and my husband really enjoy movies um, and he deals with my Christmas movies. That's another one of my absolute favorites that is annoying to some people but that I just love and that is all of the Christmas movies. I just love like the Santa Claus 1, 2, and 3. Um, they have a Santa Paws 1 and 2 now. Um, just all those those Christmas movies. It's just I love watching them. Um, Charlie Brown has a Christmas movie. Um, what's another one? Christmas Carol. What's another one? There's, there's just like so many of them and I just love new Christmas movies. Um, so those are all things that we do. We actually do not have a fireplace and I really wish we had a fireplace in this house. Um, that is one thing that I grew up with and that was one of my most fond memories of Christmas. So maybe someday we'll have a house and we can roast marshmallows on an open fire <laughs> and all of that stuff. And most people think that my um, Christmas thing is just all like just out of a book and just cheesy. And those are the things that I absolutely love the most. Um, I love the music, the books, the movies. Um, I love all of the little like candies and yummy goodies and just the cold weather. Um, I always used to think that spring was my favorite season. However, <laughs> as I get older, um, I'm thinking that like my favorite time of year is Christmas. And so I'm starting to rethink my whole spring being my favorite season because I really do think that winter and the crisp air and snuggling under a warm blanket and all that kind of stuff is my favorite thing. I love snowflakes. Um, I really hope that um, I want, well, and what I want to pass on to my daughter is kind of the magic of Christmas and just the feeling of being around family and friends and just 
loving the moment and the magic of it all and things happen this time of year that don't necessarily happen any other time of year. Um, people are a whole lot more giving and like for like charity work and just all that kind of stuff on top of the magic and the story of Santa Claus and like the Bible stories and all of that kind of stuff um, that surround this time of year. And it's just, it's such a special time. I just, I absolutely love Christmas. I love everything. <laughs> Again, I love everything that has to do with Christmas. And um, we actually have three weekends of Christmas and, and that is starting this weekend. Um, so we have three weekends of Christmas that we get to share with our closest family um, and friends and it's just awesome. And our gift this year is um, actually baby number two is on its way um, coming next year in February. And um, every year at Christmas time we do a, it's kind of a um, Christmas update is what I call it, but it's a letter um, that we write to all of our closest family and friends that kind of lets them know what we've been up to the past year. And I love getting those in the mail. I love hearing about what um, people in our lives have been up to because um, not everything gets brought up when you like meet or when you talk to each other on the phone. And it's just, it's so nice to read that. I love sending cards and it's an excuse to take a picture, a family picture every year. And it's just, it's just awesome. Um, December is the last month of the year and um, I always take every January to kind of start over. It's just a great time. First month, first start over of the next year. So like Thanksgiving, being thankful and like sharing that time with family and then turning around and being able to share the magic and Christmas and everything um, with family and friends leading into a brand new year and... I just, I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, but yeah, so anyways, those are the things that I love about Christmas and some of the things that we do. Um, me and my husband do not um, exchange gifts at Christmas. Um, instead, um, we um, buy something that we need for um, our house or... Um, Th and something like that. Um, we don't um, exchange gifts for our anniversary or birthdays or anything like that. Um, instead, we decided as a couple um, to spend all that money that we would have spent on getting each other stuff during the year um, on um, just like something big at Christmas time. Um, like this year, we got an upright deep freeze this year and a lot of people are like oh well that's romantic but it is um me and my husband usually take other holidays and um special dates um we usually just go out to eat because that is something special um that we don't do often unless we are going out um or if there's something that we're celebrating um we go out to eat for those things um but yes so anyways um, I just, I want to pass on, um, just the feeling that I have around Christmas. Um, there were, was a few years where Christmas was not that special. And between last year and this year, um, the specialness and everything of Christmas, and it's all thanks to having my daughter, that the Christmas spirit and the magic of Christmas has come back. Again, there was there was about three years where Christmas just didn't feel like Christmas. Um, and I kind of let it slip. And it's nice to have that feeling back and to just kind of make it time to let go of anything and anyone who just kind of brings you down or stresses you out or anything like that and just be thankful and happy for your own life and what you have and all of that kind of stuff. And I know I sound super cheesy and super lame, but um, I did want to do a video just remembering what this time of year um, means to me and my family. Um, but yeah. 
that is it. <laughs> so anyways, um, if you would like, please leave a comment below or you can message me um, what your favorite thing about Christmas is and kind of what you and your family do um, at Christmas time. I touched on a few things that we do, um, but I would love to hear what other people do and the traditions and things that they do um, with their family, such as what I said in the beginning is the 12 days of Christmas. Um, we are carrying that on with my daughter. We did not do it last year because um, she was little. Um, however, this year we are doing it. Um, but just things like that that are just fun and like making cookies and baking and all that kind of stuff. Just anything and everything. Um, just leave it below or send me a message. But I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.